Yes, guys. Good evening to all. This evening, I will do a video of the Emancipation Statue, otherwise referred to as the Buster Roundabout. This is at Haggett Hall, St. Michael. First of all, I'm looking back at the Ross University of Medicine, which is at the Lloyd Erskine Sandy for a center over here. And this is a Mark Pharmacy. So again, I'm at Highgate Hall in St. Michael. Here, about to do a video of the Emancipation Statue. It's best referred as the Busser Statue. And again, this is the one Highgate Hall Mall, which was built recently here at Highgate Hall. Which has subway. It has a subway. It has a subway. They have subway. The little of the shops here. Kale Shepherd, Pace, PSC Digital, Signia Globe, Harcourt, Cart, Optical, Starbucks, Coffee Shop, Studio. Uh, Antilles Economics Inc. Insight Strategy and Transformation and Subway Coffee Shop. Subway Restaurant, sorry. You want Haggett Hall Mall here? One. This is all a part of the one Haggett Hall Mall here. This was built here about three to four years ago. Now approaching the Emancipation Statue, which is otherwise referred to as the Buster Roundabout. Again, otherwise, you heard as the emancipation statue once again. Which was carved in 1868 by local sculptor Carl Budhagen. And again, I'm looking down towards Kai Mall, which was formerly the Julien supermarket. It was Julien first, then it was Troy Mart, and then it was later. Union Mall International, now it is Sky Mall. So the Julian was here back in the 90s, between 1995 and 2003. But then in 2003, so when it was Julian, this was a mega supermarket back in the 90s. And then in 2003, it was Trimark Supermarket. And then in 2008, it was Union Mall International. And then in 2012, it was Union Sky Mall which it still is today. Yes, okay, this is all the ABC Highway here. The ABC Highway starts from the Granny Adams International Airport in Christchurch, which is to the south, and will end at University of the West Indies at KFA campus, which is to the west. So this is the Emancipation Statue here, known as Bussa, which was carved in 1985 by local sculptor Charles Budhagen. This statue was 
created by local sculptor Carl Bodhagen in 1985. And Buster is one of our national heroes who led the Slave Rebellion in 1816 at the Bailey's Plantation in St. Philip. Where Eddie Grant, musician Eddie Grant, has his studio now. Ed Buster led the Slave Rebellion there in 1816. Yes, guys. Sky Mall. So this road here will lead you in a north a north a northerly direction towards Warrens and towards the Norman Nose on the boat which is the next on the boat after this one. So it will lead you back to the parish of St. George, will lead you back to Warrens and back to University of the West Indies and back to the north of the island. This road here will lead back to the parish of St. Philip, which is to the east of the island, via Mack Hill, South District, and Broadway Hall in St. George, and back to St. Philip with six roads, Ruby and Bearfield, and the Bailey's Plantation as well, can also be accessed from this road here as well. Up the road here now will lead back to the Point, St. Michael, via the ABC Highway. It will lead back to the Point. CBC, which is our state owned radio and television station. The CBC studio is over here. CBC, as well as the Point Hill Dairy. Point Hill Dairy is up the street here as well as the Farmer. BET, which is the telephone company, which was Cable and Wireless. BET, which is now the Ross University of Medicine, American University of Medicine. It's also here, it will lead back to the, it will lead back to the south of the island, which is in the parish of Christchurch as well, all along the ABC Highway. And this road here will lead back to Bridgetown via Tumel Hill. Government Hill and the Laurie Erskine Standing for Center, which is now the Ross University of Medicine, and back to the Governor General's residence at the Government House, which is now the President's residence, and the Lady back to the Prime Minister's residence as well at Elara Court. Yeah. Yes, okay, this is the statue of our national hero, Bassa, who is originally from Africa, but he led the Slave Rebellion here in Barbados. Mega Mall here, known as Sky Mall. We got Mega Hall, St. Michael.
Yes, the ABC Highway was constructed in the 1980s by the late Prime Minister Tom Adams, who was Barbados' second Prime Minister, who created the ABC Highway in the 1980s. But sadly, he did not let the city highway completed. Tom Adams wanted the highway to be created so that more of us can have easy access to the airport, from the port to the airport, from the sun port to the, even the seaport to the airport. Oh, having to go the long haul route. So he created the ABC Highway, but sadly he did not live to see the highway completed. Tom Adams died in 1985 and the highway was completed by 1989. So the airport runs, the ABC Highway runs from the Granny Adams Airport in Christchurch, which is to the south, the University of the West Indies at Kyoto Campus, which is to the west. over here so the statue depicts Buster holding the chains off it's breaking the chains from slavery Every emancipation day, the whole meetings and walks in this in this um, bus in the statue here, the whole meetings and walks. Back in 1998, Fidel Castro from Cuba held a meeting here in this roundabout in the presence of the Prime Minister of the day, Owen Seymour Arthur.